NTA results are very prone to operator bias. This protocol demonstrates the effects of altered NTA parameters on obtained results. A standardized method will help increase rigor and reproducibility in NTA analyses. Analyzing the sample in a cuvette allows for a statistically random sample to be captured in each video. This results in more reproducible data and the visualization of particles over a wide range of sizes. As getting a sample in the recommended particle concentration range can be difficult, be sure to perform a serial dilution to identify the ideal dilution factor. Demonstrating the procedure will be Kun Hung Kai, a PhD student from Anthony Ferrante's laboratory. To prepare a cuvette for nanoparticle tracking analysis, cover the workspace with a lint-free material to prevent fibers from entering the cuvettes. Wearing gloves, place a cuvette containing a stir bar onto the magnetic cuvette jig. Use a hook tool to place the insert into the cuvette, with the notch of the insert visible at the front of the cuvette. Use a pipette to slowly add 400 to 500 microliters of purified extracellular vesicles onto the cuvette through the hole in the insert. And mix the sample by gently pipetting without introducing air bubbles. Then cap the cuvette, tapping out bubbles as necessary. And use a lint-free cloth to wipe the outside surface of the cuvette. To analyze the particle concentration of...